Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last set of the night here at MLE presented by APM Music. This is the Premier League between the Hurricanes and the Eclipse. I am Stage, and here with me, the one and only Luke underscore. May not, maybe not the, don't think of me as a Luke RL, I'm not a professional RL player, I promise you that, but I'm really hyped for this series, I talked to all these guys a ton, and let's just say there's a lot on the line for both of these teams to prove, mainly the oh, Eclipse, you know, the Eclipse, they were a huge underdog coming into the season, you know, they weren't even ranked on top 10 for a lot of power rankings, myself included, I did not put them that high up there. But after week one in a huge upset over the Blizzard in comp, while, while comp was playing, they got promoted all the way to rank number three in the power rankings, and now it's at number four. And they're still trying to prove the hair is wrong against an all-powerful Hurricanes team. So what's it going to take for them to really impress you here, Luke? What's it going to take for them to be the number one on your power rankings? Beat this team. I mean, this team, the Hurricanes, they are stacked on their level. They have... The best, right now, the leading, if there was an MVP race, the leading MVP candidate would be Tess Gravity, having the highest, M, or the second highest MVPR behind his own teammate, having, on, being in top 10 in shots, assists, I mean, he is all a part of the offense. And joined with him is still a star sub player in Champion J, who is a mechanical genius on the side of the field. And right now, going into the series, I have high hopes that we're going to see some high octane caliber rocket league. On the other side, though, you don't have any slouches. You've got actually, I believe, the two highest players on Eclipse, Vitaly and Lazarus. So this is a battle of titans. It really is. And I think it's going to come down to how you're going to stop this team. You know, your goal is to make, if you're the Eclipse, your goal is to make the Hurricanes get rid of the ball. Don't let Jay have the space to do what he wants. Don't let Tess do what he wants. And if you stop that, you will feel very confident and being able to beat this team. And I definitely think the Clips have a chance to do it. Well, here in Premier League, if any player gets to do what they want to, the game's gonna be over pretty quickly. Vitaly in the back corner, Chimp gonna be passing that one in towards mid. Gonna try and hold onto the possession again as the return, beautiful block, that's cross out to Gravity. Test Gravity is gonna be moving that into the corner, not able to come up with it. So Vitaly for the Eclipse is gonna send that downfield, the redirect and the first goal, 26 seconds in, is off that redirect. And this is the best way the Eclipse are gonna be able to score. Make one of the, pull one of the off defenders for the Hurricanes out of position and try and punish on a 2v1. And that's gonna be their best way of scoring as they get a great counterattack. Lazarus redirecting it to where Test Gravity has no way of reaching it. And at the start, Eclipse get an early lead. Gonna have a lot more like that. It's gonna be yeah, big goals, a lot of speed, a lot of beats in the midfield turning into just very, very difficult to save shots. Test Gravity taking out of his own left side, back to Jay. Jay gonna be moving that one downfield. Gravity coming up with it. And Gravity is everyone's friend right now, forcing that one through. Jay crossing it up, almost getting the goal bar out. One more hit to the bar like that, and he's going to have a hard time making it home. And so far, you know, the one thing I will say about the Hurricanes that always plagues them is they're a slow-to-start team. They, the only series, they, the only game they have lost this se season so far was a game one situation, was because they, they take a minute to warm up. And I definitely don't think if they don't have a hot start, they're going to be even more warmed up going into game two. Well, Test Gravity here is going to make it be a hot start. He comes in over the top. He just bangs it over top of Vitaly and even has the extra little tap to force Vitaly out of position to be able to save that one. And Tess Gravity, his, his great thing is makes him such a, a premier level player. His, his ability to really control the pace, he really controls the pace, especially in the offensive end. And so far we're seeing it here as they get a huge equalizer. Jay setting it downfield. The Hurricanes really going to be taking control of the ball, putting so much pressure and not allowing it to escape the Eclipse side. Eclipse finally getting a great clear. Jay's going to be running up for it, takes it off his own backboard, cross in front of the net. Hurricanes doing a good job of defending the net so far, defending their own backboard. Huge clear, both Hurricanes players up in the air for it. And that's going to go directly to Vitaly on his own back wall. Air dribbling this one in, looking for the goal, just barely off the top shelf. But you see the little bit of trust that these players have in each other, you know? 
all these players have such high respect. They're letting them do what they want, especially with the play in the air. As we see from there, Vitaly having a great opportunity, not able to punish on it. And it's just showing time and time again, both of these teams are just going to keep giving each other space because of how high and good mechanically they are. Lazarus gonna put that one away. That's all off of the back, really, of these players knowing exactly what parts of the pitch are threatening. And I we love see, the bump play. We see Test Gravity getting locked up on a side lock until he's forced to jump out of it and has a terrible launch angle to save that. Lazarus getting bumped out of the air, completely brought out of the play. Vitaly has to one on two this one. Beautiful shot off the side wall, saved just in time by Vitaly. Lazarus out of his own backfield, up to Vitaly, looking for the shot just wide. Jay gonna be trying to save this one away, puts it up, but Lazarus in position. The Hurricanes in their own backfield, trying to scramble to move this one away. And Test Gravity will come up with the save, and trying to clear it, and not gonna find any traction whatsoever. And the way that the Clips are playing the series is just what they need to do in order to win. Vitaly is one of the best, if not the best, defender in Premier League. And the main thing is going to come down to how Lazarus will play on the offensive side of the field. And so far, they are perfectly playing as a unit and knowing their roles to punish. Looking for the ceiling shot, getting stuffed in the air. These guys in Premier League know how to defend all of the fancy shots. They know how to handle the ceiling shots, the flip resets, the musties, the breezies, the doomsies. Everything that's got a name, they know, and everything that doesn't, they still get it. Lazarus, even looking for a little bit of help in the air from his teammate, puts it on the goal line and saved by Jay and Gravity. I mean, that's a lucky save for Hurricanes because Eclipse almost got away with a cheeky goal. They made a mistake. And the Hurricanes now trying to get a counterattack on the other end. Eclipse, Lazarus, sending it downfield. The chase down save by Jay, and Jay's still in position to get the second save. Up to Gravity. Gravity's gonna double touch this. Bangs it against the wall. His follow-up is demoed. He's gotta just buy the time now. Holding on to his boost so beautifully. Looks for the shot, and Lazarus is there to hold it. Eclipse up 2-1 still with 40 seconds to go, but there is still an abundance of shots. And I love the playmaking. Like this is the this is the team mark we need to see of the Eclipse that they want to have a chance against this Hurricanes lineup. Look at the trust here from Vitaly to Lazarus. Lazarus has such trust that Vitaly will be such a high-level player of test gravity here. And he ends up doing it and he has a perfect passing play and we'll give you a huge two-goal lead. Lazarus gonna be trying to widen that a little bit more. There's the opportunity for Jay to put that one back, but Vitaly is there. With 30 seconds remaining and another goal coming in off the side for Vitaly, I think I'm ready to hand this first game to Eclipse. I think you're right about that. I just think the Hurricanes are just playing a little too fast for it. They came into this with a really high pace, and I think they're just outrunning themselves at this point. It's like their legs are a bit too far ahead away from them now, and they're just kind of being a little left behind them with their own plays, and then the Clips are just like, hey, thank you, we're just going to take this and score on you because they're just giving it to us. And it feels like that's the only thing that's killing the Hurricanes. They will get one back, but the Hurricanes definitely have some adjustments they need to make for game number two. I mean, you said it yourself, Luke. The Hurricanes are a download team, and they're going to get it here with that fake from Jay. So maybe just a little bit more time, a little bit more download, and they're going to start coming away with wider and wider margins every single game. Gravity's going to put that one up, centering it in with the pass. Gravity once again looking for the opportunity off the sidewall. Going to bank it off the backboard with a double touch. No dunk available. Just barely denied by the bar. I'm sorry. We're going to have to find you a ride share. And I mean, you got to give it to the Eclipse this game. They, they made the most of the Hurricanes mistakes. I mean, Hurricanes had a lot of rushing and panicking touches when they had a lot more space in the... Our Eclipse just took it to their advantage, made the use of those 2v1 situations, and scored, I'm pretty sure, on almost every single one. And if you're the Hurricanes going to game number two, you need to realize, hey, the Clips are giving us more space. Let's use it to our advantage, especially with how dominant of a dribbler that Jay is. 
definitely. The control that the Hurricanes are able to put out, even when they're behind there, is really impressive. But I want to talk about just the aggression and the shot making that Eclipse had. All of those counterattacks, everything that they were able to put together to get them that early lead and keep them there. It's so hard for the Hurricanes to get out of their own side. They've got to have that good dribble. They've got to have those good clears and the plays off their own backboard because that's the only way they're going to get it out is if they get it around the insane midfield of the Eclipse. And you can see, especially with that opportunity when they um, when Tess had that second goal with the fake, it just shows how much respect the Eclipse are giving these Hurricane players, but the Hurricanes just aren't using it. They're trying to rush their touchers, saying, oh, we're going to beat these players to the ball. But Vitaly and Lazarus are not those lev 1,600, 1,700 players that you can just punish like that. They're going to be on top of you every play, and you're going to have to punish them every time. And it's definitely going to take the Hurricanes to slow down the pace, adjust, and punish what the clips give them. Now, if I understand this correctly, too, you were talking about uh, test gravity. I believe, oh my, Vitaly's actually going to be just putting the uh, first shot in already. Five seconds in, the pass from Lazarus down to Vitaly and a bullet into the net. And it seems like, you know, Jay getting a little too hesitant. It takes a little too much time than he needs to, and Lazarus just takes it away from him and punishes it with the center of Vitaly, and the team plays continue for this Eclipse lineup. But resuming my train of thought before I was so rudely interrupted by a fantastic goal, I believe you said that uh, Test Gravity was actually a RLCS round one player. Yes, he, so, you know, he, uh, yes, he did play for Valors um, in regional one. They did not qualify for regional two, but it, he is a star player, but he works better as a support and as like someone who finishes plays. So it's really gonna come down to Jay, I think, being as a, as a finisher or as a support. They need to figure it out, because right now, they're starting to play, they're trying to play the same person when that won't work, where the Eclipse, on the other hand, are playing distinctive roles. Test Gravity can take this one out, looking for Jay in the midfield. Jay picking it up, taking the pass, and putting it away. That one's not coming back. And see, now they're finally using that space at the close of the game. They're like, hey, Lazarus is just going to sit in there, do nothing. Let's just use it to our advantage. We are mechanical geniuses. Let's just go for a simple passing play, and that make it impossible for him to read it reason why I brought up that RLCS history is maybe Eclipse knows that and maybe that's the reason why they're given so much respect is you've got a player who's played you know with some professionals with some really good players that dish down gravity is right in position to power that one through but that is pinpoint precision on the pass from Jay. What a great read Jay. So you know Jay would not he would probably be going for a doomsday dish instead but instead he realizes that both defenders are so focused on him and leaving Test Gravity in that midfield in front of the net that he's like, I can just drop this and they're not going to be ready for it. And now the her can get the first lead they've been looking for all night. Gravity coming out of his backfield has a shot on target. Vitaly going to send that one away to the corner. And now deep downfield, Jay ready to receive it off the sidewall. And that's going to be locked in Eclipse's territory. Vitaly trying to put it away, but Gravity's still there to hold on to it for a moment. They need one more touch to send it back into the Hurricane side of the pitch. Hurricane's now clearing that one away, getting a great touch high, following it up, looking for the extra goal. And that's going to be it on a double touch. Looks like, you know, Jake is a little lucky because he didn't get the re want to, but... Let's just say that was calculated. He was looking for the own cool opportunity off of Vitaly. But it's that presence. See, Vitaly's respecting the touch from Jay, and that's allowing him to do what he wants. If Vitaly cuts that off, there's no even opportunity to double tap it. And that's just showing the respect that these players have for each other. I don't think it's even that, too. I think that could have been actually calculated. We saw Jay get that pinpoint precision down to his teammate on goal two. Now he's looking for the flip reset here. But the mechanics that he's got, I think you can actually make those redirects and reads. Gravity looking for the double touch there, getting saved off the backboard. And Eclipse finally having the room to work. Going to sky this one downfield, lofting. Jay in position, dishes it out to Gravity. Test Gravity with the flip reset. Going to pop that one in towards net. Saved, but that's not going to stop Jay. Jay trying to airmail this one in. Airstrike is a little bit off target. Gravity off the side not quite on still they're looking they're peppering this net and the defense from eclipse is impermeable thus far something's got to give 
And then just, you gotta give credit to Vitaly. Vitaly has always been, to me, one of the best defenders I've ever played against because his ability to keep calm and not overreact to a situation. We see there, like, two opportunities where there are, like, double tap opportunities in all these situations. He's like, oh, I gotta wait and be passive, but finally, the defense breaks and the Hurricanes get their fourth goal. Just stretching the defense, getting the beat on Lazarus means that Test Gravity is able to do, like I was talking about before, that just one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one action to sneak that goal in in a solo play. And now, you know, you have this, now the Eclipse have just been stuck in their own half, and it's like, now they need to show what they can do on offense, because ever since they got their first goal, this has just been all hurricanes. Eclipse gonna sneak that one by. Jay's in position to pick it up. He's gonna move to the corner, grab the boost, and get ready for his turn. His turn is ended very preemptively by a demolition. Another demolition. The Hurricanes, this is turning into a bloodbath. Someone call the chop shop. That was a great opportunity by Jay. He's trying to get a little fancy. I mean, those plays are what beat high-level defenders, getting a little creative with his dribbles. And he almost gets away with it, but not able to get the catch he wants. And Hurricanes and Hurricanes really just knocking at the door for a fifth goal. Jay going to be moving that one downfield. Test in position, but he's going to send that deep into the corner. Lazarus ready to take it. Lazarus one-on-one -on -one with Gravity gets demolished, and that is going to be Gravity moving it to his own corner. Jay has to save it from the, from the net. He's going to be trying to move it downfield. Test was already downfield, but not going to be able to come away with this. Have to race back and save in front of the net. Jay racing in like a speed demon. Gravity moving downfield once more, gets the pop off the backboard, looking for the goal, not going to come away with it, but they're still up 4-1, so that's not a huge loss for the Hurricanes. And again, it just shows how panicky the Eclipse are getting. They are rushing every touch. They're like, we can't even give you space anymore, and this is what they need to do in order to come back here, because now they're realizing that if they're giving them too much time, now the Hurricanes have adjusted, and they're saying, we're going to just make plays time and time again instead of just rushing touches. Eclipse down thir three points in 30 seconds. They need to go every 10 seconds if they want to bring this back to an overtime even. That's going to be difficult for them. Vitaly looking for the double touch instead, getting tapping Chimp and Jay off the backboard instead. Gravity looking for one more goal. He's going to find it from the side of the field. And nice I mean, this little just, angle. Yeah, and this just shows, you know, the, the, like the, the pace that Tash Gravity is used to, and it shows the experience he has. He's just outpacing his opponents to the ball there. You know, most players would not be able to get there fast enough, but test grabbing, knowing how to make the most of a situation, gets there, reads the ball before anyone else can, and punishes with a great goal. Vitaly looking for one more opportunity to put something on the board, passing up to Lazarus, and Lazarus immediately getting stuffed. Test Gravity is going to spike that down into the open field, and that is game two in favor of the Hurricanes. Bring this to 1 1. And you got to give it to the Hurricanes. They stepped up 11 shots, or 16 shots total, but 11 for Test Gravity. This is a complete change of pace, and it just showed that, you know, this is where I was saying it before the series started. The Hurricanes take a little bit to adjust, not just individually, but as a team, because they're not used to playing with each other, especially in a two standpoint, both Tash Gravity being a threes main and Jay, you know, more used to doing his solo plays on his own. So it definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to. But after that first game, it just felt like it was all Hurricanes. And they're gonna need to, and the Clips now are on the receiving end of having to figure something out in order to counter. Yeah, it feels like a completely different team. So Eclipse needs to throw the entire download they had from the first game out the window because there's been adaptations made to their style. Time to go clean sheet, reset completely, and start cranking the modem up again because you've got to download Hurricane's new play style. You've got to figure out where the weaknesses are, and right now, just looking at them, I don't see them. Hurricanes are playing with such pre precision and such speed, it's so difficult to handle. And this is where it comes back to what I said before this series. You know, you want to don't give these guys time to just control the pace. Like when the ball was just sitting in front of the net, it just felt like only a Hurricanes player was contesting. There was no that challenge from the defense. And that just constantly allows you, one, to get star up from boost and, and resources. And two, it just really takes the momentum out, out of your team for this Hurricanes lineup. A huge cluster in front of the net is going to finally result in a scrum leaving the Eclipse move away. Lazarus air dribbling it downfield. 
up to Vitaly, and Vitaly's gonna find the first goal. 20 seconds in, feels like a mirror of game two. That's a great play. You know, Lazarus able to pull out a double command. Jay got a little bit too greedy and rotated up with Tess on that. And as a result, both players get a little too committed to get her clumped up. And every time that's happened so far, the Eclipse have been able to punish it. So if you're the Eclipse, you just need to keep pulling out these mistakes because they are, you know, everyone says the gods aren't like killable, but there's definitely showing some weaknesses here. Eclipse getting a huge clear off their own backboard, a lot more power than even I was expecting. But uh, it's not gonna be for anything here because that double touch, the catch off of the backboard is gonna give Tess Gravity the equalizer goal 18 seconds later. I always tell Tess, like, his aerial control is just on another level. And look at that. You're, most players would never be able to get enough power just to drop it in. They would always hit too hard or just try and set up for a team. But he knows how to perfectly set up his car to where he's going to get enough of a drop down to where no one will beat him and they'll be faster than the incoming defender. And that's a big equalizer for this game. As It kind of feels like a repeat of game number two. Vitaly getting bumped away in the deep, in the offensive zone now has to rotate back. There's two hurricanes in his face but they're not gonna be able to hold the offense. Instead, they gotta prevent him from getting that counterattack shot. Blazer is up trying to maintain that pressure, saved by gravity. That's gonna be one more out to Lazarus. Lazarus sending it for Vitaly and no goal once again. The Hurricanes defense is unstoppable at the moment. I feel like the only way you're gonna be able to beat this Hurricanes defense is you gotta make them, you gotta make them question each other. You need to make them get in each other's way. And that's the only way I feel like they've been scoring and really winning games and challenges at this point is by make them mess each other up, make them double commit like in that situation. Because if you do that, then you're causing panic and miss and like panic rotations and they're gonna be able to punish it. It's either you gotta get the panic or you gotta get the very fast counter attack. That's the only way that we've seen Eclipse scoring so far this set. Gravity knocked that off his own backboard. Vitaly once again looking for the opportunity. Gonna get the flip reset here. Not able to come away with any use for it though. So he's gonna steal the boost and run. Ball in the midfield, a little bit loose. Vitaly there to pick it up. He's gonna chase this one down, puts it on net, but saved by Jay. Gravity there to pick it up as well, holding the ball in the corner until Jay's ready to carry it away. Jay down the left side in the corner, trying to pop that one in, gets the flick, gets the goal in the top shelf. And that's a great placement. This is why I say, you know, Jay is such a great use of space. He knows how to perfectly control his car to get a perfect flick. I mean, you flick that cross net, that, that's unsavable for most players. I know myself, I would never be close to saving that. And time and time again, it just shows that each player on the Hurricanes has their own arsenal to use in order to score here. Eclipse going to be uh, getting uh, around the kickoff, not quite able to come away with it. A great scrum from Gravity. Vitaly now falling back and a challenge this one quickly. Gravity up with the ball once more, deep in Eclipse territory. Pancakes that off the back wall, not going to be able to come away with it though. Steals the boost and Chimpan J moving it in towards center again. Vitaly clears it to his own corner. Gravity still with the pressure just across net, not gonna come in with it, with it yet. Jay gets the beat, oh, that's another goal. Oh man, is he ripping that? That's like ripping off a band-aid, man. That just, that's just mean, man. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna play with you at this point. And looks like, you know, they're just having a little fun. Tess trying to steal and get a bump on the play. And this just shows, you know, the mechanical play on this game, it just doesn't feel even. It feels like the Hurricanes are just dominating and the only thing the Cliffs can hope for is mistakes. I'm starting to see what you mean by the Hurricanes being a bit of a slow team, but I gotta say, I'm still feeling it for the Eclipse. I don't think they're out of this yet. They're down two goals. There's still two minutes to go. They've got the open net in front of them. They're gonna take it. Vitaly, just like that, bringing the margin to one goal. Just a little bit of fancy footwork is gonna get him around the defender and in the back of the net. That's a great read from Vitaly, noticing where the opponents are playing around him. But I feel like the only way they want to get back in this, I want to see a little bit more team play between lots. I want him seeing the scoring arsenal, which we've seen him do, especially in game number one. He was the scorer and really led him to win that game. But it just seems like it's not going to happen as the Hurricanes score again. Test gravity coming away because of that big demolish in the backfield. You beat one on your own backfield. Now all of a sudden, there's no one there. There's nobody home. Just go ahead and walk in the front door. 
lining up on the kickoff. This is so important for Eclipse. They really do need to take these games if they manage to sweep the rest of this series. So if they take this game and two more, they will be first place. It's a tall order and any other spread will leave the Hurricanes in first place. So it's and, a big margin on this game. And I will say, you know, it also it's not just, you know, like a physical impact. It's a mental impact. It's like proving all the people who doubted the Hurricanes wrong. Because everyone went in the season and said, Hurricanes aren't like that good. They're, they're not that. Whenever, when, when they always told me, especially, that, hey, we're just the Wolves, but we've played longer. And that we should be respecting just as much as the Wolves are. And it took them a huge upset in week number one in order to get this. That's a great passing oh! play from the Hurricanes. And they get this lead extended even more. Chimpan J coming off the ceiling, dive bombing that directly into gravity. I think we've seen this before. It's just me, man. I feel like they're abusing him at this point with their with their arsenal. I feel like they're like, it's like, you know, it's like a it's like a gunfight and the the clips only have pistols and like the hurricanes of RPGs. It's like, come on, man, this is just mean. And I think the Clips, you know, they're still in the series. I think they have the ability to win it, but they're just going to need a big, a little more plays other than counterattacks and punishes. Well, I mean, we're going to see it right here. Lazarus going to center it up. It is on a counterattack, but you still managed to split the defense. You still managed to come away with one more point. And how you get it doesn't matter. It's winner take all here. Gravity gonna win the kickoff, take control as well, falling back for the boost because he knows he's got Jay there. Jay centering that ball. All you gotta do is kill time now if you're on the Hurricanes. But oh no, the double tap opportunity, not gonna come in with it on Vitaly. So Lazarus has to pick up the pressure. And that is a booming clear for the Hurricanes. The window of opportunity for Eclipse to take this number one spot is closing rapidly. And I think it's just this mentality they have, too. I definitely think that the Clips have just really not shown that. That double tap would have been so huge because it's just saying, hey, we can do fancy stuff, too, because they haven't really shown it at all this series. And they're right there. You know, they aren't able to get again. It just feels like now the Hurricanes are like, ha, you can't do it. Only we can. There's a huge element of respect that's going to come out in these games. That ball is going to spike down. But one of the important things that you've got to do, especially when you're playing at this kind of high level, is just demonstrate that some of those cool tricks are in your tool bag. It doesn't mean you got to use them. It doesn't mean you got to score with them. But you hit a flip reset. You hit a breezy. You hit something. Then it means that the rest of the series, they've got to respect you. And I think the clips are just getting more kind of stuck. And I think that's what that's making the, the Hurricanes. You know, in game one, they were very, like, expecting everything. But after the first game, it was like, we know what the best you're going to do. So we're going to counter it every time and make you try and do something else. And ever since game number one, the, the Eclipse have just been struggling to get enough offense going that they can beat the really the heavyweights of the Hurricanes here. And I feel like the Hurricanes, just from what we've been seeing out of them so far, have a bag of tricks that looks like Santa's bag. I mean, there's just every time they reach into it, there's something new or a new variation of the same old trick, like that uh, yeah, spike shot from Jay down onto gravity. We've seen that twice this series so far. It's always pinpoint accurate, and it's not the only trick they've got in their arsenal. It's kind of so, sad because it's like, you know, like a Christmas bag supposed to be full of presents, but it feels like for the other team, it's not full of presents. It's full of deadly coal that's going to really not make them happy. And, you know, Hurricane's in a great spot now for the rest of the series. Basically turns into trick or treat if you're on the Hurricanes. And uh, yeah, every time Eclipse comes away with it, they're getting tricked. Oh, not good, not good Halloween form, I guess. <laughs> All right, moving into game four. The opportunity for Eclipse to take number one after week three is eroded, but they still have the opportunity to make a statement. But first, they need to get the ball out of their own side. Vitaly is gonna do that, is gonna put the ball in the back of the net instead. And the counterattack ability from the Eclipse has just been amazing. I mean, Vitaly has just been so good this series at picking apart where, like, where the offense is overcommitting and then just punishing and taking it home. He does it again there by reading both defenders over coming on an offensive drive and gets a quick goal to open the scoring. And I think part of you got to give credit to as well is Lazarus' willingness to be very physical. They're going to get a strong goal there. The double tag from Lazarus into the closing shot from Vitaly. 
Said they need something that's not counterattacks. There you go. Defense was fully home, just not there, ready to answer. And I just think Lazarus needs to be a bigger impact on this offense, and that's a great way of doing it. The first goal, he has a big bump, then he has the pass, and now he has a great kickoff goal. And if this is the Eclipse, this is the exact start you needed. That kickoff goal, this is suddenly just turning into a rapid fire blowout. Three goals in 27 seconds, a goal every nine seconds. I wish that, uh, I know that Eclipse wishes they'd gotten this pace at the end of last game. Jay going in for the air dribble, not gonna come away with that, but Gravity gets a huge pop, follows it as well. Vitaly still defending it. Lazarus moving out now, and just like that, he's coming back from the dead. Gonna be sending it out to Vitaly. Vitaly picks it up on the left side, moving in towards middle. And Jay ready to defend this following as well. Gravity has to pick up and move it out of his own side. And now it just seems like the Eclipse. Now, once they have the lead, you really start feeling the sense of aggression from the Eclipse that we didn't see in the previous games. And it's definitely just showing how confident they feel when they have this lead. And it's going to come down to how long they hold it. Because again, 3 minutes and 45 seconds is a lot of time, especially for this Hurricanes line to make a comeback. I feel like we're seeing just a completely different Lazarus on the field right now. He's got the dribbles, his teammate comes in to save it. But Lazarus is just being so calculated in his aggression. Getting the steals and the challenges at just the right times. Getting bodily when he needs to. Having decent boost control and... If we see him continue like this, this could be really strong. However, that's an enormous clear pass and rebound from Gravity, setting himself up all the way downfield and answering his own call to send that in and break the ice for the Hurricanes this game four. And this is what makes you know Premier League players so good is their ability to sense the whole field. Gravity had a whole view of the whole field, and he realized that Lazarus was just far enough where if he boomed it over, that he wouldn't be able to read it. And he reads it beautifully. He has a great first touch off the backboard, and knowing that Lazarus won't be able to read it, he punishes him. Gravity faking the flip reset and instead putting more power behind the first hit. Vitaly ready for it. He's gonna boom that downfield, and the counter boom by Gravity leaves it in the corner of Eclipse for Lazarus to move out with. Vitaly scrumming up in the midfield. A lot of action. Jay is going to come away with this one. Looking for the shot opportunity. Going to let Gravity take it instead. A good call off. Jay low on boost, but he's happy to live there. That's one of the big differences we see between these Premier League players and something like a Champer or an Academy or even a Masters tier player is their, how content they are to live on low boost. It really is, and one of my favorite examples, he isn't playing this, but um, Body Less is a great example, and I think also, you know, Vitaly is also another great example, is, is they know how to make the most of so little. Like, a player like myself, and that's probably one of my biggest weaknesses, a lot of lower level player weaknesses, especially in like Champ League and Master League, is that they don't know how to rely on less boosts. Well, these guys, they know how to, how, to get, how to get momentum, they know how to get speed and power without the need of boosts, that they're able to punish with it, and it, it just adds a little extra kit to your arsenal in order to punish, but Hurricanes get a big, another goal back and literally down to one. Talking about using the boost management and everything, Jay's just gonna be able to get there a little bit faster because he holds on to the boost, he picks up the pennies, and just like that, he's gonna dunk over top of that and take the shot from the midfield. And now, you know, if you're the Eclipse now, you just don't, don't. hopefully you don't get too passive here. Is your mentality gonna be, we have to play really defensive so we don't lose a sleep, or should we just try and pick up the pace again so we can extend it a bit more? I think we've seen Eclipse at their best when they're being aggressive. We need to see them hold that. But the pace right now from the Hurricanes, the speed in their backfield is ludicrous. It's not enough to stop Vitaly, though. And I love Lazarus here. Lazarus has just been a great attacker this like this game. He's been like in the face of everyone. We talked about with Jonasy last series for the Bears. That's what Lazarus has been this game. He's been uh, he's been initiating a pressure. He's been making the Hurricanes panic touches and allowing Vitaly to just finish off the, his plays. I love the comparison with Jonesy because that is exactly what I was going to compare it to. This is the evolution of Jonesy that we're seeing in Lazarus right now. Vitaly on the backfield has to save this one away. A bit of a double commit, but Vitaly ready for it, even without the boost. Lazarus in the back now has to hold on to that. That the shot opportunity is going to be wide. Great read from Vitaly, recognizing he doesn't have to race it down. Now he gets the dribble, beats one, loses to the second. Jay has control. 
beating Lazarus. The field is open. Gravity looking for the dump. Doesn't even need it. Just a tiny little tip, and there's the goal. That's a great passing bag. Jay's just like, I'm going to hit this up and test gravity, and like just trusting his teammate. If Jay was playing with anyone else, he would have hit this a little more smart just so it would be an easier chop. He's like, I got test gravity on my team. This is, I can just hit this anywhere. He's going to finish it just like he does there. And now the lead back down to one. How will the Cliffs play this time? Test gravity once again up in the air, ready with the air mail, the spike down into the corner. No, it's going to find the post instead. Alley with it, looking for the big flick shot out of the air, and he's gonna pass it off to Lazarus instead. Lazarus looking to come up with it, whipping the ball. Now gravity has control. Vitaly trying to chase it down. A miracle defense fly. And I think you know that's a big play. You know, if from Jay's side, you know Jay gets a little panicky, and it's showing that the Cliffs are getting in the head a little bit of the Hurricanes. You know, Jay has an open opportunity. That's probably the first time we've seen him really messed up since game one on an open opportunity. And now the Hurricanes are in a little panicky situation to get an equalizer. Oh, that's gonna be a beat in the backfield. Not gonna find the ball in the midfield. Vitaly has the opportunity, widens the gap. The nail in the coffin. I think Eclipse can take it. Yeah, and again, this is test gravity getting in his head, assuming a challenge from Lazarus is coming from what we've seen all game. And instead, Lazarus playing the back man, changing his playset. And that's what happens when you have someone who's constantly bringing pressure. You're making that defender have a mental battle saying, is he here or is he not here? And as a result, he panics and doesn't assume he's there. And that leading goal saves him from this next one from the Hurricanes. Absolutely. The extra goal, the two point margin is so important because the zero second is so long. Eclipse are still going to take this one away in a nail-biting game four to equalize the series at 2-2. But even if, even if the Eclipse take game five, they're still going to be just shy of coming away first in the Premier League. And that means the Eclipse, or the Hurricanes, no matter what at this point, will come away at first. But even if they do win this series, you know, this is a big win because everyone was saying that the Hurricanes, there's no way they're losing a series this season. They were so dominant and all that stuff, especially this lineup, because this lineup was the number number four pick in the draft, and the number nine pick in the draft. They had Hurricanes at two really early picks and they made the use of game huge steals at both spots. And no one thought this team was going to lose series. And the Eclipse are just showing, hey, we're here. We're not just going to let the Hurricanes not be the only attention in our division, but in the whole league. And if they win this series, they might promote themselves all the way up to really the number two seed in the power rankings. I tell you what I would do if I was on Eclipse and I took this set. I would celebrate. I would probably <laughs> celebrate with some balls Garana. That's just me, though. But uh, I would just try and find something that I enjoy and recognize that this is such an achievement, but it's not the end. This is just the statement. This is saying that we are here to play. And doesn't this just make you happy, Sage, that we get to watch these guys play twice this season? And that's what I love about Division <laughs> Matchup. It's like you get to watch them twice, twice the fun, man. Absolutely. Lazarus is going to be coming away with the kickoff here. Back out to Vitaly. Vitaly off the wall, looking for the corner ball. Not going to be on target for the goal, but a lot of pressure still generated. Gravity coming away with this one off the wall already. This is a barn burner right from the get-go. Going to be in the corner for Eclipse. Lazarus slow playing it away. Burning out his camera, just trying to spot where anybody is. Pass inward to Lazarus. Top shelf set for the first blood. And I love Vitality's decision here. He's like, I don't want to go for a backboard play. I'm going to go for a hard cross. Make Tess not realize what I'm going for. And if he went off the backboard, Tess would have had this clear. So that's just a great mental decision from the captain of this team, Vitaly, saying, we need to, I need to go for a quick pass and pull Tess out of position. And he does it beautifully, and Lazarus with a great finish. Lazarus once again trying to play, mate. Going to be a little more difficult because you've got the guys for Hurricanes being so incredibly vigilant. And that's going to be a bit of playing with your food as Hurricanes do a little bit of give and go in the offensive sector. I honestly thought the Hurricane just screwed himself here and took away a goal, but I, and then I look and I see all the Eclipse players away. I'm like, okay, okay, test crowd. I see you're trying to be a little funny. But again, you know, game five, this really is no laughing matter. A very crucial game for both teams as 
win, if you know if Eclipse win this, they'll be two and one. Everyone in the division will go two and one, or I guess not everyone, but the um, Hurricanes and the Eclipse will both be two and one in their division, which will be a huge statement for the rest of the season. I mean, moving it out to the midfield, Vitaly looking to start an offense with this flip reset off the backboard. Hard to read, but the patience pays off for the Hurricanes as they get their own opportunity. Lazarus, a man is so incredibly patient and there to save those goals. Vitaly gonna be pushing this one into the midfield, gets the pass out, but no, just off the crossbar. Now, test gravity out to the side, trying to push this one in towards center. He's gonna meet Vitaly. Vitaly will win that 50. And that's a great play by the Eclipse. I mean, the, the one thing no one knows is, is test gravity. If he got that mid boost, they would have been such a great spot to score him, but Vitaly actually stars him and allows that offensive opportunity to go to the waist side. And now the Hurricanes have to try again for another goal. Jimp and Jay, oh my Lord, almost putting up a highlight reel there getting the fadeaway fly back in. I feel like that's something that you'd see in like a dunk contest. Oh, Vitaly's gonna put a little more playmaking on it though and ram this one through 106 kilometers an hour. And I think this is a great, men like this is again, going back to game four where the mentality of the Hurricanes is expecting a quick challenge. So Task Gravity, assuming Lazarus is not across the net, Goes for a touch across, assuming he wouldn't be there. And Lazarus just winning the mind battle right now against Test Gravity. That mind battle is really paying off. Lazarus looking for that redirect back. Instead, Vitaly is going to find another one on a 50 50, just bouncing in off the post ever so slowly. And I love that play from Jay. He, I mean, I'm not from Jay, from Lazarus. I mean, he gets a beautiful touchdown, not going for the shot. He's saying, I'm going to trust my teammate to put it away. And not only does Jay get caught out of position, he panics and gets put into an awkward spot where Vitaly just easily finishes it. So in the Premier League, I mean, you've got some of the best players, some of the best teams. I'm going to stop that thought because Jay is going to shut me up with a burning cut out of the right side. That's a great shot from Jay. That's just great use of the, um, his hitbox, knowing which what part of the car to hit with to get the most power. And as a result, the Hurricanes lowered the lead back down to one. But as we saw from game four, they were never able to come back from the lead that the Eclipse had. Lazarus chasing this one in the air, gonna get stopped by Gravity. Gravity's got control. He's got the moves, but he's not gonna come away with the goal this time. Jay putting the set back in. Lazarus has to clear it away. Gravity's still there to pick it up. A lot of scrum in the midfield, if you can even call this a scrum in Premier League, because these guys know how to maintain that momentum. The smoke screen bar down. That's going to be another goal. And right now, if you said, why are the Eclipse winning this game? It is the team chemistry right now. Vitaly goes to the demo and net, and not only does he get one defender up, he takes the other one out at the same time because of the smoke screen. And Lazarus has the best placement bar down through the smoke screen, there's no way of reading that. That would be a one in a million save, and it would be luck the entire way, but worth the calculated chat wheel if you managed it. But instead, that's gonna be a little bit of an extra lead for Eclipse, and Eclipse is really feeling themselves right now. They know they're gonna go back to the locker room after this is all over and have the respect of everybody in Premier League. That might be an understatement. They've been just lights out, you know, and I have to apologize myself. I put this team so much lower than I than they ended up being. And I will say they had the best sign from free agency because Lazarus was actually an undrafted free agent. They signed after we number one, and he's been proving that he's saying, hey, I should have been drafted, and I'm one of the best players in this league. Vitaly is going to be holding this one out of his own corner, looking for the flick. He's going to pop it over, but just barely tipped by Gravity to save it. Gravity beats one, looking for two, wave dash play. Instead, getting blocked out, there's still the goal on it as Jay is ready to follow. The lead is reduced to one for Eclipse. That's a great read from Jay. You're coming from a negative 90 degree angle and you're still getting a pinch in. I mean, that's just a hard read on itself. And now the lead's back down to one. But again, will we see the Hurricanes get that back-to-back -back goal to equalize? 
we've seen the Eclipse in these kind of situations suddenly get that kind of goal just to bring the margin back up, and they do not disappoint again. And it just seems like Jay, time and time again, has just gotten very awkward on these corner plays that he ends up under centering it for the art team or just really giving it back. He doesn't really get a really clear touch. He's kind of rushing it a bit too much. And again, it punishes them as they're back down by two. And I think that's kind of just one of the merits that you see from playing good corner ball. A lot of these guys in Premier League know that situation and know how to play it. But even then, you can still get caught in an awkward place sometimes on those corners. Gravity gonna be trying to dart this one in the save last second from Lazarus. Jay is still trying to hold the pressure and Lazarus is still there as the defensive stonewall. And it just feels like it might be over. I mean, right now the Eclipse are just dominating. It feels like the Hurricanes are now just rushing their touches or just getting rid of it instead of actually trying to set up a play. Again, see, we see Jay just rushing for a touch, not really thinking about what to do. He's just trying to go for it. And now we're just seeing time and time again, the Hurricanes are just feeling a little more defeated now. Vitaly looked for the flip reset, a little bit clumsy on the approach. That's gonna be Lazarus blocking it out. And I think that's probably the game as the block comes in from Vitaly. There's no way to bring this back, even with that last Hurricane goal. Another zero second from the Hurricanes is still not enough. Eclipse are gonna take the set. What an upset. I mean, this people might not realize, again, it's the number one versus the number four. It can't be an upset, but everyone was saying the Eclipse were out of this season. They weren't going to be a factor. It was going to be between the Blizzard and the Hurricanes. And now we see the Eclipse are the only team who have taken down the Hurricanes. And you just got to give huge props to the Eclipse. They've been dominating, and they're going to be a huge threat for the rest of the season. Luke, I want, I want to live in my own head for just a second. I want to live in nostalgia land. I want to see that smoke screen again because I, really I have do. never seen it, anything like that. It was too mean. It was mean, man. I don't think that me is mean. I think that is effective. That is pragmatic. That is just taking anybody who wants to get in there out of the play and ending it, ending their hopes and dreams. And I think this just goes down to working as a team. When you have two high-level players like Jay and Tess Gravity, and you get to that situation in Game 5 where everything's on the line, we got to play our best game, you just saw that they were really going against each other. They were fighting, and they were like, not really fighting, but they were like, they weren't trusting each other. They weren't working as a team as we saw in Games 2 and 3. And that really bit them in the butt, and they end up throwing the next two games away to a, a tremendous Eclipse team that I have to give huge props for. So... I am, I am, I'm absolutely flabbergasted, and I think that anybody else at MLE, anybody else in the community, is gonna feel the same way about this, just seeing Eclipse come away as a decided underdog. Not, not something that was out of reach, but definitely the Hurricanes were favored to take the match. Extremely close, every game counts. That's three more to the Eclipse and two more to the Hurricanes, but the Hurricanes are still number one in Premier League which is a very big thing. But either way, the series counts will be the same now for the Eclipse and the Hurricane. Sadly, the, the um, Eclipse did lose to Lightning last week, which was a major loss. If they ended up winning that series, they would be number one in this series. In this series. Not, even, not even just in their division, but most likely in the league now, as both these teams have just been dominant forces throughout all of PL, and they're just going to show why the Storm division is the best. So... As far as I understand it, we are done here on MLE2. For those of you who want to get into the action, who like what you see here, you can check us out on MLEsports.gg, and there's application links and all of the info and scheduling and team information you could ever want. But uh, we are brought to you by APM Music, and I think we're about ready to shuttle this party on over to the primary channel, ML Esports on Twitch. So stick around, there is more action to be had.